Loving Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. This is somebody here who is in their head about the games that they played with you, okay? They are in some form of deep regret, remorse. They're sad and they're, they just can't believe that they treated you some kind of way that they treated you. They can't believe that they allowed their pride, their ego to get in the way of the connection between the two of you guys. And this person knows that they owe you an apology. They want a new beginning with you, a new passionate beginning here with you, a new fiery beginning with you with this ace of wands and this page of cups energy um definitely could be a leo um but you know with the king of wands being here but the sun card is out here too with this ace of wands and this page of cups i feel like some of you guys may have thought this person would never apologize to you they may have juggled you in the past of some sort here i feel like this person here was non-committal like they were in and out high and cold like really like just never made a decision on what it is that they wanted to do there was never a label or there was never a commitment with this person this they could have even been back and forth in between you somebody else or just undecided didn't know what they wanted to do right with this two of pentacles energy weighing their options is the point and now it's like somebody wants to overcome whatever issues and bring in some form of balance here with this chariot energy so somebody here could be a cancer you could be a cancer you could totally be a leo or an aries or a sagittarius here's the deal somebody here is single maybe you and this person they definitely view you as someone here who's single abundant nine of pentacles energy somebody here who's like really attractive somebody here who's very independent self-reliant you you don't need anyone or anything to you know to just exist and you're happy i feel like right very independent energy this person knows the energy that you're in um, and they're really in their head about it. Three of Swords energy, Libra. You could be a Libra or be dealing with one. Um, for some of you guys, this person may have, uh, somebody may have turned their back here and stopped talking with this Hermit energy, which is Virgo energy. So you or your person could be a Virgo as well here too. I just feel like um, at one point this person did not value you then but they are realizing now that you're gone that they made a big mistake and that now they want to come in and and like say hey i want to spend some time with you or they may want to like go out for coffee or have a conversation of some sort because we have the page of cups and the page of pentacles here um it, somebody here i feel like this could be your energy this person definitely, I feel like, broke your heart or they disappointed you. But now this person, this King of Wands, is in regret and remorse for not taking any form of action towards you. They could be a Pisces with this hangman hey energy being out here. They didn't follow their heart. They didn't trust their intuition. They didn't trust their emotions and what they were feeling for you, I feel like when you were originally dealing with them and now that you've turned your back to the situation and you're not saying anything or maybe this person turned their back to you and they ghosted you or they stopped talking to you abruptly and unexpectedly and you're like well geez so i feel like somebody who you haven't heard from who ghosted you unexpectedly and it really really hurt you put you in a space you know that was really like not fair like because i feel like you guys didn't deserve this energy Page of Pentacles in the star energy. So somebody here is hoping and wishing and praying they could be an Aquarius or a younger Capricorn. Now it's like, okay, they feel like they dropped the ball. They feel like they know what decision they want to make. They're hoping and wishing that you're going to talk with them. They're hoping and wishing that you will communicate with them. I feel like this person knows that Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands, like you were their happiness. They knew what they had with you or what they could have had with you. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign here too, or you could be in Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I'm telling you, whoever this masculine is, they're in this not a sore energy. They're sad and depressed and in all this regret for all these games that they played and the fact that they didn't take this action that they, they felt like they really needed to take here, okay? And I feel like now this person is realizing, oh my gosh, what did I do? 
where do I go from here type energy. Okay, so that's what's out here right now. So, I definitely feel like I'm talking to somebody who's single, living their best life. Um, Uh-oh. What is this that fell out? The chaser. So, somebody's getting ready to chase you. I told you, they're in this chariot energy. They're regretting the fact that they didn't chase you sooner. They might be feeling like it's too late, which is why they're in this star energy feeling hurt. Like, will the collective even answer my text messages or accept my invitation? Yeah, I'm telling you they're getting some form of clarity here with the sword and the rose energy. Definitely some clarity with this sun card. Getting clarity about how they got in their own way, how they may have juggled you. They didn't make the right decision. Yeah, hand of cards. This is somebody here who had options. This is somebody here who didn't want to take a risk. They wanted to keep, they didn't want to put all their eggs in one basket, basically. This is somebody here who didn't want to show their feelings. They didn't want to show their emotions. Uh, show me more here, please, for the collective. Oh, man, this person is watching you glow up and grow up, okay? They're watching you be in this Nine of Pentacles energy here. They're thinking about you quite a bit with this sunglasses energy. They could be stalking you from afar, like maybe social media or asking about you. Um, but I do feel like this person is thinking so much. They're trying to gain a new perspective and they're seeing whatever it is that they're watching and they're seeing... They're watching you do good. They're watching you sit in this abundance. They're watching you level up. They're watching you glow up, do better. Um, you've changed your mindset. You know what I'm saying? You're in this star energy and this nine of pentacles energy. And they might even be seeing you get exactly what you want. Or they're afraid you're about to get it. Yeah. Yeah, the golden mirror. They're watching you do this, but I feel like this was a one-sided situation when you dealt with this person, which is why you were in this Three of Swords energy at one point, because this person was self-absorbed. Like, it, they did what was best for them, but they didn't really do what was best for the connection. And, you know, unfortunately, yeah, this person likes you. They do like you. This is somebody I feel like who never told you they loved you. They led on to more than what they really may have acknowledged or shared with you by the way i really feel like that but let's dig in and see show me this king of wands energy here what's going on with this king of wands what does this have to do with my collective yeah i'm telling you they were in this energy of like not wanting to commit. They had plenty of options. It was definitely one-sided. You felt like this was a complicated situation. There was not a label like I was saying, right? There was a lot of things going on in this person's life which has made it so complicated, which is why they never put a label on it um, or committed to you. They felt like making this decision was difficult to take things to the next level or, you know, put a label on it or something or commit, which is sad. Yeah, one-way love. I'm telling you this was one-sided. This was one-sided and now this person is in this energy of like, oh my gosh, I really screwed up. You see this hand in this person's face. This person's like, oh my gosh, I really, really screwed up here. That's that five of swords energy. It's the same energy. You see how this masculine has his hand in his face and, you know, ex external factors, this complication energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be married and that could be what the external issue was here. Or somebody wasn't divorced. Maybe they're separated. Everybody's situation is going to be different. This person might want to even come in and ask to marry you because they feel like the connection between the two of you guys was a wish come true, which makes sense for this star energy. I'm just saying. This person feels like you are a wish come true. You're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. They know with you they could have that Ten of Cups. It's like you're everything this person dreamed of. You have all the qualities. Like I'm just getting a kind-hearted, kind-hearted, loving individual from this energy right now. Very sweet someone here, but this person could have been toxic when you were dealing with them. I feel like they were. I feel like they were, you know. Um 
<sighs> this person was afraid. You know, this comes out all the time. People are afraid to face their fears and make decisions and not, they don't want to experience a tower moment thinking they've overted or they were able to avoid a tower moment. You cannot avoid a tower moment, okay? If you don't make the decision, you're going to either deal with the karma, which is the, the result of your decisions, or you um, are going to live in an uncomfortable space and place and be unhappy and still experience that tower moment it makes no sense to me but people do it all the time because that that feels familiar to them it feels like it makes them feel like they still have some form of control because they didn't make a decision no you don't have control that's a false sense of control this person was not able to conquer their fear which is why i believe they didn't make a decision. That's why they stayed in this Two of Pentacles energy. Teamwork. Show me about this teamwork energy. So now this person might want to recome in and rebuild with you and act like they have your back. They might. I don't know. If they feel like they found you. You're somebody who, yeah, this person may want to come in towards you and say, hey, let's rebuild. Let's be a team. Let's build together let's grow together and you're going to be like i don't trust you anymore with this on guard energy i don't trust you you're real skeptical about this and i don't blame you collective i really don't you're going to be really cautious so if some of y'all are going to be very cautious with this person if they try to come back in and say hey let's work this out and be in some three of pentacles eight of pentacles energy let, let's take some time effort and some energy to make it work and you're going to be like nah we're going to take this slow 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 as molasses this is what i'm hearing okay yeah you don't want to feel like you're settling this is going to make you feel like you're settling if this person chose to be doing other things like not put their eggs in one basket and be in this king of wands energy they may be feeling like they settled in love now and they're realizing it spirit is also telling you don't you so second best ain't best it's not number one, okay? Um, don't make that mistake. And some of y'all did not make that mistake, and I'm happy for you. I'm telling you, you've been you've been doing this with this person, I feel like, for quite a while. Back and forth, on again, off again. You know, this person's appearing, and they disappear. They ghost you. They come back. You know, you don't want to be trapped in that cycle. I feel like you guys have tried your damnness to stay distant from this energy. And now this person wants to talk to you. They feel like there's some form of like separation, like some physical distance or maybe even some emotional distance. For some of y'all, this person could live in a different city or a different state. And this person feels like it's tough during this separation. It's tough for them. Like this person can't get you in front of them if they could just get you in front of them to like talk with them. Things would be okay. Um, so like for some of y'all, this person definitely lives in another location. Maybe long distance relationship was what the issue was. They didn't want to commit because it was a long, they didn't see a long distance relationship working out. Okay. This person definitely cared about what other people were thinking and they were seeing other people. Somebody advised this person to keep their options open. I'm telling you, I don't know who this was that advised your person or gave your person this advice. Like, hey man, you know, male or female, I'm just saying, right? Keep your expectations open, you know, don't settle. And that's, it's, I'm not saying anybody should settle here, but I feel like they just really like, didn't go about this the right way. They were too busy trying to keep up with the, the thought of like what society told them not to do instead of letting go of their fears and their desires. This person wasn't fair to you. This was not fair to you at all. Work is on by Drake and Rihanna. Okay. Um, yeah, fun. This person was a lot of fun. They were they were good for hanging out, but they were not, I feel like, dependable when it came to a relationship. You know? Or this could be you having fun and minding your own business being in this. Yeah, this could be you having fun being in this nine of pentacles energy and staying abstinent, not having any form of like, you know, not getting in the bed with anybody, um, you know, no sex, you know, for what? You're just taking care of yourself. I get it. 
Let's get a few more cards. I feel like this, yep, thank you, Spirit. I told you somebody had choices. I told you somebody had options. I told you people were, were encouraging this person to continue to do that. It was almost like, oh, don't settle for the collective. Like, no, the collective wasn't no, on no settle shit. Just period. The collective just never was. And you may have thought this person was good on paper, right? Meaning like they had a good job. Maybe they didn't have any kids or like they were smart. They were good looking. They had their own place. Like they seemed like they were a good catch. But you, I feel like you slowly started to realize, oh, yeah, no, nah, this ain't going anywhere. I got to let this go. I gotta let this go. This is nothing but fun. You know, yeah, it's cool to hang out with somebody every now and then and have sex with somebody every now and then. But low-key, I feel like you wanted something else and this person did not. Some of y'all dealing with a twin flame. Okay? And the fact that twin flame came out... Ooh, let me get... Um, okay. I'm gonna get another... I'm gonna clarify this twin flame energy. But what I just got here was um, Halo. Beyonce is playing, by the way. But the twin flame energy, for some of y'all, this is your twin. And this twin had options, choices. And this twin was married, is married, was married to somebody else. And, and they had multiple options, including you. Multiple options, including you. King of Wands. And this person is like in all this. This is the energy this person is in right now. They might be going through something. They're going through something to be in that energy, I'm telling you. Uh, and they're ready to travel towards you and make up with you. But I feel like this connection was one way. When they met you, they didn't. They weren't ready for you. But you were a wish come true. It was a one-sided thing. They see you in this Nine of Pentacles abundant energy here. They're extremely attracted to you. You make them very happy. I feel like this person broke your heart because they didn't... They didn't do what they needed to do. And maybe you guys haven't heard from this person. <sighs> Clarify this twin flame energy. Hold on, let's move to a different deck. Okay. Clarify. You guys, please hit the like button for me and support the channel or subscribe to the channel. If anything resonates for you, join us on Patreon. That's actually where we do most of our twin flame readings over there. We also do divine masculine, divine feminine readings over there for $5 a month. I am open for personal readings right now. And if you'd like to order one, that information is below. Okay. If you want to email me or go directly to the website to order a reading. For those of you who are dealing with the twin flame who was married. Remember, we saw that marriage energy here. That person is married to the to someone. They chose money over love. And this per person is ready to... You know what? This person loves to hang out and have a lot of fun. They like to hang out all night. This person is around a lot of messy people here. A lot of drama. Okay, that's why they're in this Five of Swords energy and this Five of Cups energy. Because I feel like low-key they're listening to people they really shouldn't even be damn it listening to. Somebody here definitely has some communication issues. I'm telling you this person feels like they made a mistake. If you got anybody in your ear telling you about what's going on with this person, they want you not to believe whatever this person is saying. So if somebody's telling you some lies, this person wants you to think that this other person lied to you. Somebody wants to go on a date with you and spend the night. This is really giving, I want to hang out, have fun, have an amazing time, spend the night, have sex, and then boom, I'm done. Bye. See you later. Be mindful of that. Okay, be very mindful of that. The, pro the problem is here, this person is insecure and they feel like they are really not enough for you. They feel like they're not good enough for you because you're in this Nine of Pentacles and um, uh, Aquarius star energy and abundance energy, right? They're watching you be in this beautiful ass energy that they love to be around, that they love to be around, but they can't commit to it. So, you know. Yeah. What else does the collective need to know here? All right. Thank you, spirits. Somebody's friend is gonna, um, yeah, you've been trying to let go of this person. Is This is definitely a divine connection or a twin flame or like a strong soul tie here because we have true love, 
somebody's trying to let go. It's been difficult letting go of this person and this connection. I feel like your friends have been telling you or this your person's friends has been telling them, hey, y'all, y'all, you got to let go of the collective. That's over. That's done. And this person can't let you go. They cannot let you go here. Um, let's see. Okay. What does this person want to say to the collective? I want a future with you, okay? They fantasize about you, okay? And they definitely do. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you, telling you somebody was in their ear. That's what this is all about. That's why we're talking about it. Somebody was in this person's ear trying to convince them to just not take any action. This person is definitely holding on to the mir the memories that the two of you made, the time that you spent, the fun that you had. They haven't been able to let you go. I want to hold you. This person wants to spend the night with you, have fun, hold you, have sex with you, and then go. I feel like they're going to be out again. So just be mindful if you choose to do this, you know, Put on your big girl panties or your big boy drawers, whatever y'all wearing, even if you free balling. I don't care. I don't know. It's not my business, but I'm telling you what it is. This person, <laughs> this person don't know how to handle their emotions right now. They, and they don't because they're in this five of swords, five of cups energy. They, they really think that they're ready for a commitment. I don't see that here. Not just yet. I'm telling you, I don't. The distance between the two of you kills them. And they want to kiss you. I told you this person wants to do more than hold you. They want to stay the night collective. I want to reach out, but I don't know how. So the point here is, for some of y'all, this person's going to come towards you. For others of you, maybe not right now because they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They just know they want to be around you. They want to be in your presence, feel your energy, this star energy, this nine of pentacles energy, this ten of cups energy, this ace of wands energy, honey. Okay? They want to feel it. <laughs> but you get my drift. There's a but here. There, unfortunately, there is a but. So trust your intuition. You have your own free will. This person feels like they don't deserve you and you deserve better. But this person is definitely insecure because they feel like they're not good enough. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. Look at that. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. Well, they also sabotaged the connection because they got something else going on. They got a third party, somebody else. Some of you, they're married. Some of you is with their, you know, baby's mother, baby father, whoever it is. But you make your own decisions. You're an adult. I love you guys. This person definitely feels like this is true love. But I feel like other people got in the way of this and convinced your person. And that tells me that this person really needs to grow up and become their own man or their own woman and make their own choices. They're not going to be able to avoid a tower moment. It's going to come whether they're with you or not. So especially if they're a twin and they're meant to be with you and they're not ready to ascend. Oh, honey, the tower will not be avoided. Okay. The tower will either be experienced while they're with this other third party and they're going to be unhappy for five years, five more years, ten more years, however long with this five of cups and this five of swords. They're going to continue to be in this energy or they can be with you and figure it out and make it work and let go of some of these people that they really should have let go in their, in their life a long time ago because these people don't cannot tell your person who you are to them. Nobody can tell anybody anything about this connection except for you and your person. So keep y'all know that. I'm just saying. But anyway, I love you. So stay strong. I love y'all. I will see you later.